Hi everyone. In last part, we talked about basics about signal, like what are the signals, how we can use them, types of signal and all. So now we'll talk about data types with the signals. See, when we are using signal, so we have to define two types of data type. First one for signal and second one for value. And in this part, we'll talk about both of them. And we'll also see how we can update signals with the set method. Actually, we also uh, talked about set method in previous part, but there we are talking about two methods, set method as well as update method. So when you will use the update method for updating the signal, then uh, in some cases you will face some difficulties that we'll also discuss here. And at last we'll talk about some important interview questions related to signals data type. All right, so now let's move on the code. This is our output uh, screen. And first of all, let's uh, define a very basic uh, signal. So let me use there, let's say data, and uh, we can store any data type there. Uh, maybe signal, and I'm putting there 10 inside this, right? And don't uh, forget to import it. Let me remove the other things from here. Don't forget to import it from the core angular, right? And now, if I just want to display this, we can easily display. We know that, right? Because same thing we had done with the last part also. So if I just put their data as a function, then here is its value. Okay, so now the thing is how we can define the data types with the signal. Uh, maybe you can ask like why we need that if uh, this is not asking. Uh, let me show you one scenario. So let's say uh, you have one button and button name is let's say update and on this update, you want to update its signal value. And right now, this is a numeric value and uh, you want to update it in the string value, right? Or maybe in some other uh, data type. So for that, uh, let's create a function update value or something or update signal, whatever you want to create. And then what you can do there, this dot data dot set. And easily if the we are updating with the same data type, you can put there 20. And uh, if I just call this function on the click of this button, click, and if I just mention there, update value, it should work perfectly fine. Here you can see that, right? But, so let's say you want to update there a, a string value. Then you will face an error there. Like we cannot assign string data type with the number, then how we can uh, fix it? For that, there are two ways. First one, with a signal, you can simply mention number as well as string, right? Now, it will perfectly work fine. You can update this value because we defined that signal can be number. This data signal can be number or can be string. So this is the one way. And let me just copy and paste it. Let me comment out this. And uh, there is a, another way also. So let's define the data type for this signal also, right? Uh, there I'm putting writable signal like this and inside this uh, you can mention number and string right and still you will find that this is perfectly working fine so uh, this is the data type for signal and this is the data type for signal value all right and now you get to know if we want to store two types of data in a single signal then how you can apply this so let's say you want to apply their true then right and this is a boolean value but this is not acceptable because either it can be stored number or either it can be strong store string so there with the pipe you can mention boolean also right and this will work perfectly fine again all right okay so the next thing is uh, uh, we learned that how we can define the data types for signals and values so there is a one more thing we know that we have two types of signal in angular first one is writable signal and second one is the computed signal so how we can uh, you can see that define data types for the computed signal oh let me show you so there you can simply take one more signal which is let's say count right and uh, for this you can put their signal like this and inside this you can define its data type uh, because see if you are using the computed signal then you don't need to mention their writable signal they are just simply signals and inside this i'm putting their number right and then just use their uh, computed 
like this and again this will store uh, you can see that uh, mm -mm -mm. Uh, this will actually accept a uh, callback function right and then we can mention maybe uh, 20 or 30 whatever you want to store right now this is how we can define the data type for uh, computed signal and uh, data type for computed signal value right this one okay so if you want to display on the ui then that's fine just use their count and here we go we are getting this 20 value there right okay so we know that we cannot update the computed signal because this is a read only same as constant so for now i'm just uh, keeping even I'm just commenting it out right because we don't need I don't want to show you so much code so that uh, you will not be confused here okay so uh, this is how we can use the set method to change the value but let's say you want to update the value right and here you will find a limitation uh, let me show you how so if you will use this dot data dot update right and for now let's say it, it's value we have only number then update inside this I can mention well this is the current value then well plus one right and if I just click over there you can see that this is perfectly working fine there is no issue if I just update value by 10 then you will see this is getting updated again and again with the same value right but let's say if we have the multiple data type maybe with a string then you will see it will not work why because when we are updating value like this, it will accepting only one data type and probably uh, number only, right? So if you have multiple data type with a single sig signal value, then it will not work. In that scenario, you have to use a set. But if you have only the numeric and single data type for sig uh, signal value, then it will work. So this is the limitation for uh, update method. And in interview question, they can ask, uh, what is the difference between signal data type and signal value data type that you can mention there that we learned after that they can ask uh, what is the data type for signal uh, computed signal then you can mention just you have to put their signal and for write table you have to put the write table signal limitation for update method you can mention and that's all for this part if you still have any doubt confusion you can ask me in the comment section please don't forget to subscribe comment and uh, like this video because see this is completely free for you but it gives me lots of values right and this is my paytm and gpay donation number thanks everyone